Okay, so I'm a little under an hour from Nashville. Let me show you something pretty. There we go. So I just stretched my legs, stretch Cotton's legs. He's been sleeping the entire time. A little sleepy head. I'm gonna try to get him to, some, to drink some water and eat a little food. Um, I've noticed all the police officers here drive like plain black SUVs, which is unusual to me. I also, at the exit, noticed this car completely smoked a guardrail. It's like, halfway in the guardrail. It looks pretty absurd. It's a really nice tree. Saying goodbye. I wish I was like my favorite YouTube botanist and could identify it. Maybe I'll... If you... Crime pays, but botany doesn't. If you are watching, you don't have to identify that. But just know I appreciate you. Anyway, yeah, we're going to walk around a little bit and then get back in the car and try to get to Nashville. Should be there a little bit before seven o'clock. All right, well, I'm at a little over half a tank, but gas is $2.60 for unleaded here in Kentucky. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up my tank again. I'm keeping a very detailed gas log, so I know how much I spent. So I can tell you, because you're my pal and I want you to know. <laughs> uh, people are wearing like more Southern style clothes here. I'm seeing a lot more like confederate flagish kind of stuff, but people don't sound like <laughs> like how you would expect people from Kentucky to sound. I guess stereotypes are kind of stupid anyway. I, they sound kind of like I do. <laughs> I guess that's why people say that people in Illinois have a southern accent, even though pretty much the only thing north of us is Wisconsin and then like Canada. So... I don't get it. I'm going to go shut up and fill up my tank. Cotton says hi. <laughs> I need to trim his face. He's got angry eyebrows. <laughs> Aww. My buddy. Hey, it's Natalie. I'm here in Nashville. Today is Friday, April 30th, and I will be posting this after I've already left for my own safety. Um, do know that I'm planning on heading south and then up north on the east coast, so if you do want to meet up, send me a message and we'll try to set something up ahead of time because I'm going to try to not post where I'm at for my own safety. I am currently in the van. I'm at my friend's house right now. I didn't like sleep here last night. I'm kind of moving stuff around and trying to make it a little bit more comfortable in here because it's not uncomfy. It's just has a lot of stuff around. I'm trying to take advantage of my cargo box up top and not have too much stuff just cluttering up my space down here because I want it to be roomy and comfortable. Right now it's a lot better because it doesn't have all my suitcases in here. <laughs> That's one area that I could definitely improve. And I can tell it's going to be a struggle because already I'm like, I just want to hurry up and get my van organized so I can go to thrift stores. I'd really like a pair of real Nashville cowboy boots. I think that sounds good. So I'm going to look around at a couple of cool spots. My friend suggested some favorite places. Um, I figured while they were working that I would just look around some of the other spots and then save the good spots for whenever they're off work. So we can go together. Um, last night was good. I got in about seven o'clock and we went to dinner at this nice um, ramen and sushi place. Overall a win. It was a very good start. Oh, and there's a hot tub at the house I'm staying at. So you know I'm happy. Yeah, so besides just organizing stuff, I'm doing a little journaling. My goal is to keep good notes on what I'm doing and my thoughts and feelings and all that, and I'm having a good time right now. It's nice to see some friends I haven't seen in a long time, but also I do look forward to 
having some time by myself and doing some introspection, just seeing what that's like kind of for the first time in my life because pretty consistently through my whole adult life, even before then, even like when I was a teenager, I've always been with somebody. I've always been somebody's partner and I put a lot of energy into that and so far it hasn't really paid off. I have a lot of really invaluable friendships that I've maintained even with previous partners and stuff, but I want to try to foster more relationship with myself and with Cotton and just doing what we want to do all the time, which sounds really good. I'm on like the first full 24 hours of doing that. And let me tell you, it's extremely rewarding. <laughs> it feels nice. So good checking in. When I get this sorted neatly, I will show you kind of what I'm working with. This is just like my water jugs. They're not full. I just have them tied to the seatbelt so they don't roll, roll around. This is my back curtain. I'm really proud of it. Super cute curtains. I got them at Goodwill. I have this big Rubbermaid thing, which has been a big saving grace because it holds so much stuff. I have all my books, my electronic like stuff art supplies trying to get stuff like up off the floor and like into a spot like I have all this dead space right here that I would like to maybe get a cargo net or even just like safety pin a bag up here to toss I think I want to put like my dishes and stuff in there because they're just stuck in corners and it's not it's not good it's not bad but it's not good so yeah that's where I'm at so far so far, so good. I'm really excited. My family's so adorable. They're like, check in with us every day. I want a text message every day for your update. And I'm like, okay, I can do that. That doesn't seem too hard. I'm feeling really good. I'm happy to be here. And thanks for being here with me. I really appreciate you.